Hello everyone. Myself Prithviraj Tambe, working as an assistant professor in Department of Electronics Engineering at Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Let us learn today pin connect block of LPC1768 microcontroller. At the end of this session, students will be able to illustrate the registers available in the pin connect block of LPC1768 as well as they can configure uh, desired functions of LPC1768 port pins using pin function select register. So this is the outline of this presentation. So LPC1768 is a 100 pin IC provided by NXP semiconductors. So this LPC1768 comes with 5 ports, port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3 and port 4. So for example, port 0 has P0.0 to P0.31 pins and P1.16 to 1.31 are port 1 pins. But not all the port pins are available, some of the pins are also reserved. Also each pin can have maximum 4 functions. So let us look at this pin connect block. So pin connect block is uh, nothing but bunch of registers. So pin function select register. So 9 registers are available. So this pin function select registers controls the function of port pins. Another register I square C pin configuration register. This is only one allows configuration of I2C pins of I2C0 interface only. Then there are 9 pin mode select registers and 5 open drain mode registers. So these registers allows the use of on chip pull up and pull down registers as well as for output special output drain operating mode is also available. So you can set all these modes using these two registers. So these registers allows you to prevent any input output pin from floating by either pulling them to high or low. One more thing all the registers are 32 bit wide. So let us learn pin function select register in this session. So pin function select register is used to configure the function of any port pin of this microcontroller. All registers are memory map registers. So you can access these registers using memory address. So the header file takes care of this. So these registers actually controls the multiplexer like structures allows the connection between on chip peripheral and the pin. When you select any particular function for any port pin, it will completely exclude all other functions. So that pin will be used for only that function. You cannot use one pin at the same time for multi function. So pin function registers are part of pin connect block. So these nine registers are listed here. So each pin function select register is 30 bit wide. So you will see that here total nine registers are available. Pin cell 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And they are having memory addresses as shown here. So as I told earlier pin cell pin function select register controls a MUX like structure. So each pin can be used for either of maximum four functions with the help of multiplexer like structure. So here the first is the primary or default function then first alternate function second alternate function and third alternate function and this is the actual port pin. So you can configure this port pin for either of 
these four functions using pin function select register. So let us calculate the bits required to configure functions of a port pin. So here you will see that it's a 4 is to 1 MUX structure. So number of bits required to configure function of a particular port pin is 2. So 4 functions, so it's a 4 is to 1 MUX requires 2 bits. So these are named as port pin function select bits. So in the data sheet you will find that for each combination there is defined function provided. So for example for P0.1 for 00, 0 this P0.1 can be used as a GPIO pin. For 01 you can use for a CAN1 RD1 for 10 second alternate function which is UART transmit pin and for 11 third alternate function I square C data line. So pencil 0 is a 30 bit wide register controls the function of port 0 and as 2 bits required for one port pin. So using these 32 bits, you can only configure 15 pins. So P0.0 .0 to P0.15 pin functions are controlled by pin cell 0 register. So here one example is given. So bit 0 and bit 1 are responsible for selecting the function of port P0.0. So here you will see that each pin comes with its function definitions. For 00, zero all the pins are selected for GPIO function, then first alternate function, second alternate function and third alternate function. And by default the value of pin cell 0 is 00. zero. So here you will see that not all the port pins are available, some of the port pins are also reserved. Okay, So here P0.12 to 14 are not available, they are reserved. So let us configure the function of a port pin. Let us select P0.0 as a transmitter output for UART3. So how to select this function? for P0.0. So we need to follow some steps. So first logically and a mask with the default content of pin cell register. Why to do this? To preserve the function of other port pins. We, we never disturb the function of other port pins. So how to create a mask? So zeros in the bit corresponding to the pins that will be changed and once for all other pins and then logical or the result with the desired function value. So this is the 30 bit format. So here you will see that this is the predefined functions or default functions. Okay. Then mask I have applied. So here for particular for this example P0.0 I want to configure P0.0 as a transmit output for UART3. So I am using 00, 0 and for all other bits I am using 1. So this is the mask. So if I, if I want to write this in hex it will be like FFFF and last is a C. Then ORing the desired function. So I want to select this pin as a UART3 output pin. So 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0. So 1, 0 I should write in the particular bits. So 1, 0. So the final value you will see that only these two values are changed. 
okay so previously it was 00, zero and after the updation it is configured for second alternate function so after writing these combinations in hex i will write some statements here pincel 0 and it with itself with 0x f f f f f f f c or you can write the same sentence like this pincel 0 is equal to pincel 0 and it with this value this is the first step so this step is required not to disturb the functions of other code pins similarly last step oring with the desired function so one zero after writing one zero what combination i have received here zero 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 and last two so this is pencil zero or with itself with zero two so in this example we configured p0.0 as a transmit output for ur3 so this is the summary for the remaining pencil registers pencil one is used to control the functions of port zero pins 0 0.16 to 0 0.30 pencil 2 is used to control the functions of port 1 pins ranges from 1.0 to 1.15 pencil 3 is used to control the function of again port 1 pins 1.16 to 1.31 4 pencil 4 register controls the function of port 2 pencil 7 only controls the 2 pins of port 3 P3.25 and P3.26 remaining pins are reserved not available for the user pencil 9 again controls 2 port pins of port 4 P4.28 and P4.29 pencil 10 controls the trace function of port 2 pins P2.2 to P2.6 references to learn further. Thank you.